Hello friends, more than 1 million ostriches in the world are raised on thousands of large and small farms around the world. Tens of millions of tons of meat are consumed annually, accounting for about 0.02% of total poultry meat production in the world, contributing billions of dollars to the world economy. Auto farmers raise and process millions of ostriches. Now let's get to watch this whole entire video. In recent years, ostrich farming has emerged as a dynamic and potentially lucrative sector within the agricultural landscape, offering significant prospects for future growth. These large, fightless birds, recognized as the world's largest birds, tower up to 8.86 feet tall and weigh an impressive 330 pounds. Emus being omnivorous, eats a varied diet that includes grass, vegetables, and insects. The establishment of ostrich farms often takes place in temperature climates, where temperatures range between 59 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Although ostriches can withstand higher temperatures, they can exhibit vulnerability to extremely low temperatures. Australia is the second largest ostrich farming country globally with a population of about 200,000 ostriches. The Australian approach typically includes a free-range model, allowing ostriches to roam grasslands in the afternoon and evening after spending part of the day in the pen. The female emus begins to lay eggs at about three years old. The laying period lasts from October to May. The average animal output ranges from 60 to 70 eggs, collected daily and stored in cold storage, to preserve their freshness. Ostrich egg incubation takes place in specialized machines set at a temperature of 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit for a period of 42 days. When they're newly hatched, the ostrich chicks shows outstanding vitality, standing and moving immediately after birth. MU chicks are raised and converted barns with a special diet that meets their nutritional needs including wheat, corn, soybeans, and various grains. After about six to eight weeks, they are allowed to freely roam outdoors. As MU chickens mature, they need a steady supply of clean food and water. Outdoor shelters became necessary to protect them from the harshness of the unpredictable weather condition. The main diet of an adult ostrich includes grass, leaves, and some types of nutritious bran. It takes about 18 to 24 months for ostrich chicks to reach adulthood, at which point they are typically harvested for their meat. Following strict food hygiene practices, The system provides water and feeds them with adequate nutrients to ensure their comprehensive development. Ostrich farming is a thriving economic industry with significant growth potential. Ostrich's adaptability to different climates and their versatility in both meat and egg production makes them a promising prospect for the future of sustainable agriculture.
harvested ostriches will be put on transport trucks to the processing factory. More mature ostriches may become aggressive and attack breeders who use bags to cover their faces. A large tonnage transport vehicle can transport about 10 ostriches at a time. Ostriches are processed in factories quite similarly to other poultry species. However, because of their large size, processing them can take more time. Ostriches are brought into the factory starting with the process of making them faint. They will then be hung on moving conveyor belts to the next stages. Their hair, internal organs, and skin will be removed. Their meat is dark red like beef, and the taste is quite similar to the chick. Their skin will be used to create branded book bags worth millions of dollars. Ostrich eggshells, a unique natural material not only stand out for their beauty, but also offers sustainability in diverse applications. Transformed through many artistic processes, ostrich eggshells have become a source of inspiration for many creative products. With exceptional hardness and quality, it opens up space for creativity They can be painted, engraved, or decorated in a variety of ways to create unique decorative products. Vases, photo frames, chandeliers are typical examples of the diversity and style of this product. Larger and better quality eggshells usually command a higher price. Product type is also a deciding factor with decorative and fine arts products often costing more than general household products. The manufacturing process also contributes to cost, with handmade products often costing more than a in general, the price of an ostrich eggshell products ranges from a few dozen to thousands of dollars, depending on the above factors. Emu fur is used in making many types of clothing, from coats, dresses, to hats. Their lightweight and insulating properties makes them a great choice for winter wear. Emu fur comes in many different sizes and qualities. Larger, higher quality feathers typically cost more. In general, the price of ostrich feather products can range from several hundreds to several thousands of dollars. How do farmers raise and process millions of camels? Let's get to watch that in the next video. Hello my friends, pork is one of the most popular foods around the world. Thousands of big farms were built and spread across urban and rural areas. So how is pig farming technology provides the best quality meat and how are pork and sausage processing lines produced? Here is the video. Dutch Land Farms Pig Farm in the Netherlands stands out as a symbol of innovation and automation. Built in 2022, this farm is not only a destination for about 20,000 pigs, but also the quintessence of the livestock technology, where each aspect of the pig raising process is fully automated. The feeding system at the farm has been designed to be flexible and precise. Using a conveyor system, feed is provided based on each pig's specific needs.
smart skills calculate accurately, ensuring the supply of food in sufficient quantity and quality for each stage of pig development. The drinking system is equally advanced with individually designed nozzles for each pig. The ability to adjust the height of the nozzle helps creating a comfortable and convenient drinking environment, while keeping each pig hydrated to maintain optimal health. The barn area is not only a place for pigs to rest but also a comfortable and safe living environment. The spacious and airy design helps each pig have a separate space to live and rest. Insulation is used to keep the temperature and the barn stable, optimizing comfort for the animals. The farm's automatic cleaning system is certainly an important highlight. The ability to automatically collect and process waste not only helps maintain environmental hygiene, but also contributes to reducing the risk of disease transmission, ensuring the health of pigs and consumers. Advanced lighting and temperature control systems ensures that every living condition is optimized for pig growth. Automation helps adjusting temperature and light depending on the growth stage, creating the ideal environment for rapid and healthy growth. Dutch Land Farm's modern pig farm is not only a large source of pigs, but also a symbol of innovation and efficiency in livestock farming. This model has spread to many countries in Europe, America, and Asia, proving that investing in technology and automation not only brings benefits in terms of productivity and efficiency, but also ensures safety, food safety, and environmental protection. However, to achieve this, farmers must face challenges such as high initial investment costs, high technical requirements, and the need for large capital to operate. These challenges, however, highlights the need for investment and commitment to innovation and sustainability in the pig industry. After piglets are born, caring for them and protecting their health is an important process. To ensure healthy development and minimizing the risk of diseases, Puglitz needs to be vaccinated and receive special care after weaning. First piglets need to be vaccinated against swine fever at 7 days of age. And again, at 21 days of age, next is the swine flu vaccine, given at 21 days of age and again at 42 days of age. Finally, the swine typhoid vaccine needs to be given at 42 days of age and again at 63 days of age. At the same time, piglets also needs to be dewormed at 7 days and 21 days of age. After piglets are we usually between 28 to 35 days of age. They need to be moved to a separate area with guaranteed conditions such as spacious, airy, clean, and dry. Temperatures in the area needs to be suitable for each stage of piglet development and have adequate equipment such as feeding troughs, drinking troughs, lightning and heating systems if needed. Caring for piglets after weaning requires attention and initiative from the farmer, making sure to provide adequate and balanced food, and ensuring clean drinking water, maintaining barn hygiene is important to prevent the spread of diseases. To ensure health, farmers need to regularly monitor the health of piglets to detect and promptly treat diseases that may arise. During this period, 
care also includes feeding the piglets solid food slowly, gradually increasing the amount of food as the day progresses, and making sure they have warm water to drink. The pork processing industry isn't just a simple process, but a close combination of technical factors, food safety, and quality management. The process begins when pigs are transported to the pressing plant by specialized vehicles. This not only places high demands on vehicle hygiene, but also requires checking the health and quality of pigs before they enter the factory gate. The processing method is carefully chosen, which can be an electric shock or neck injury, with priority given to the electrocussion method because it causes less pain to the pig. This not only reduces stress for pigs, but also maintains meat quality. Processing meat must be quick and efficient, as delays can affect the quality of the final product. The next steps of the pork processing process will continue to be discussed in the following sections to ensure that the final food is not only delicious, but also fully meets food safety requirements every step of the way. The pork processing industry focuses not only on providing food, but also ensuring reliability and safety in each product. The pork sausage, a popular dish worldwide, is not only delicious but also requires a technical processing process to ensure quality and unique taste. The main ingredient to make pork sausage is pork, usually lean or fatty meat. At the same time, spices such as salt, pepper, sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, and additives such as wheat flour, tapioca starch, and turmeric powder are also used to create a unique flavor. Pork is ground with a specialized meat grinder, depending on the type of sausage you want to make. The pureness of the meat can be adjusted to create sausages that are chewy or soft to suit your requirements. The ground meat is then mixed well with spices and additives. This mixing process helps creating a unique and uniform flavor in each piece of sausage. The ground meat mixture is stuffed into the animal's intestines, which have been washed and soaked in dilute salt water for sterilization. Stuffing tightly and evenly helps shaping the sausage. After stuffing, sausages are shaped to the desired size and shape. It can then be smoked or steamed to cook. Smoking gives the sausage a delicious flavor and an attractive color, while steaming helps the sausage cook evenly and keep it moist. Sausages are cooled and stored in the refrigerator or freezer. Storage time is usually one week in the refrigerator and two to three months in the freezer. Pork sausage prices typically ranges from $0.984 to $1.975 per pound, according to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United States. The world consumes about 1.5 million tons of pork sausage each year. The U.S. and Vietnam are both large consumers. With Vietnam at around 200,000 tons per year, pork sausage is not only a delicious part of a meal, but also an indispensable part of modern world cuisine. So how do we exactly raise an outdoor pig farm for the best results? Now let's get to watch that in the rest of the video. Brahmin cattle, with their strong appearance and adaptability, are raised on Australian farms. The 
these places are often simply designed to ensure that cows have the right natural environment to grow freely. The barns here are often spacious and comfortable, so cows can freely move, live, and rest every day. Farm owners spend precious time taking care of their Brahmin cows. Cows' meals are carefully designed and balanced, including a range of grains to support their healthy growth. It is important to ensure that they always have enough food, but not too much, to maintain good health. Baby Brahmin cows are usually left to live with their mothers in a comfortable environment until they reach adulthood. This is not only facilitating their physical development, but also helps them develop a strong mother-child bond. Australian farmers understand that cow satisfaction has a direct impact on agricultural success and is the basis of environmental sustainability. As a result, they do not disturb them often, creating a natural and peaceful environment that helps Brahmin cows grow naturally and be an important part of the Australian farm landscape. Normally, everyday Brahmin cows at the farm are released into the grass fields to search for their favorite foods. Freedom in the fields is an important part of their lives, allowing them to embrace the joys of exploring and eating. To ensure management and safety, each herd of Brahmin cows will be thoroughly checked for quantity and directed to the fields. The fields on this farm are surrounded by sturdy fences. This is not only ensuring the safety of Brahmin cows, but also prevents the intrusion of other species that may cause disturbances or risk attacks on the herd. With the protection of the fence, they can freely eat, enjoy the sun and wind, and relax, without having to worry about outside threats. The time that Brahmin cows have on the grass field each day is usually about eight hours. This is a precious time for them to rest, relax, and enjoy nature. Cows that meet weight standards will have the opportunity to participate in auctions on the farm. This auction is not only an important business event, but also an exciting opportunity for cow lovers to choose the best animals. Selected cows with perfect weight and health will be loaded onto transport vehicles. When each cow is ready, each convoy departs for the auction site. Along the way, there are dangerous turns and accidents that can occur, which can cause millions of pounds of damage.
However, safety measures ensure that the cows and auction participates are protected. Finally, when arriving the auction area, the atmosphere became vibrant and bustling. The auction tool placed rigorously and professionally with bovine enthusiasts participating together. The best cows are evaluated and eventually found new owners. The auction isn't only a commercial event, but also an opportunity for those who love and appreciate the value of this breed of cows to express their passion and search for precious cows. In cases when cows need to travel to countries over long distances, transportation by plane has become an effective method to ensure the safety and comfort of cows during long journeys. They are placed in special transport crates on the plane. Each box is designed so that there is enough space for the cows to rest during the journey. Before the plane takes off, check in for a sufficient number of boxes is an important step. These boxes will be lifted onto the plane, one by one carefully arranged on the conveyor belt to ensure optimization of space on the aircraft carriage. On board, professional staff will ensure that cows are well taken care of they will monitor the cow's condition and make sure they are comfortable and safe. At the end of the flight, the cows will be brought to a new life and this transition will be done carefully to ensure a smooth adaptation in the new environment they will inhibit. In closer countries, transporting cows becomes much more convenient and cost-effective. A popular method of transporting cows is using boats, which is economical and safe for both the cows and the environment. The cow transportation process is often carefully organized to ensure the animal's comfort and safety. The cows will be transported to the dock area, where each herd will be loaded onto specially designed train cars to ensure stability and comfort throughout the journey. They are provided with everything necessary to assist during transport, including food, water, and suitable environmental conditions. This ensures that the cows have a safe and stress-free journey. This ensures that the cows have a safe and stress-free journey. Hundreds of thousands of cows are shipped annually to other countries worldwide. This not only meets international market demand, but also creates a large source of revenue for exporting countries. Earning billions of dollars from beef exports, they are an important part of the global economy and provide vital food to many countries around the world. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. 
So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through, as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.